Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Uh, Don here. Um, I want to uh, thank everyone that's been listening to this podcast. This has been, I think we're we're like really high on the number of, of episodes we have here. I got this thing from um, Anchor where I do it, and I think out of all the like business, I think we have kind of pretty much almost like the the one of the, in the 90th percentile of content. So it's been fun doing this. I know we have a number of faithful listeners. So I wanted to thank you guys. If you haven't written anything up wherever you're listening to this, if you can try to put a review in there or email me one, that would be great. Tell me like what you like about it and what I could kind of do to do to do better. Some of you have already done that, but I, I, I'd like to know uh, to uh, hear more about that. Okay, uh, today I want to talk about my my day uh, at Strategic Coach. So just so everyone knows. Uh, once a quarter, I go to Toronto to do something called Strategic Coach, and I've been doing this. Uh, it's been a number of years since my before my kids were born. So my kids are eight, so I was probably probably been doing it about ten years. I took about a few years off, and um, I'm I'm a big believer of, of personal development, and and I was just reminded at this coaching session the uh, today, which is a, a Wednesday, uh, that the you, you want to try to invest more in yourself than you do in anything else. And the, the rule of thumb that I, I kind of think of that I'm thinking of right now is investing 10% in myself. So let's say of what I earn, let's say if I bring in like 250000 or 300000 is there a way that I can invest in myself 25000 or $30,000? And you might think, gosh, that's a lot of money. 10% is a lot of money. But if you think about it, Investing in yourself and investing in learning is going to make you better. It might be better as a husband. It might be better as a, a wife. It might be better, better as a parent. Investing in, in anything to improve yourself, I think, is, is really worth it because you're going to see dividends, especially in the practice. So what I found with, with doing this, it's giving me uh, other ideas, other connections, other people I can interview for my podcast, um, other ideas, and really inspiration of kind of going above and beyond to kind of the next level. And uh, one of the concepts that we were reviewing again at the coach was something called Who Not How. That was a really good book uh, that, that I've read. It talks about like to get to the next level, you almost need other who's because you don't really know how to do that. So I want to give you guys an example. Something I'm working on right now is doing a sales letter, like a video sales letter for my um, plantar fasciitis course. So if I, if you go to uh, drbelta.com, there's a plantar fasciitis course. I want to do a video sales letter. I don't know how to do that. I need to have someone that will help me do that. Same thing with my membership within Podiatry Practice Mastery. Um, I know what I want to say in a video sales letter or a written sales letter, um, but I don't exactly know how to organize it on the paper because it's not my wheelhouse. But I can find someone and pay someone for a couple hundred dollars, and they can do a great job for that. And so I'm a big advocate now of, of paying people to do things that I don't know how to do. And, and that's one of the things that was just reinforced. And, and I felt in the last couple of years I've kind of fallen short uh, because my, my coach amount, um, I think it's my eight or $10,000 a year now. So I go there four times a year. And you may think, well, that's a whole bunch or that's not that much. Well, uh, to, to work on myself and to get away from the office and kind of work on my business, I think it's worth it. The benefits I like of it is it's like during the week. So I'm not like interf- interfering with my weekend time with my family. Now, if you, it's not just though that, that, that money, it's the money that I could have produced in the office. So there's a lot of other things to, to think about. Uh, but I've been doing this for a number of years and it just, it, it kind of is all set up. I have a whole process of how I do it. I have someone that buys my ticket for me. I have kind of a way of getting there. I work a half day before. Uh, even there was a little snafu this this time because I give all my dates to my office manager and she blocks them out. And then it's usually blocks out a half day before. But this time it wasn't. So the Tuesday I wasn't off a half day. And um, so we had to cancel those pages. patients, which was kind of a pain. But um, a couple of other things that I, I got at the coach was um, once a quarter – kind of doing something special with your kids and this is something you know I have two kids they're six and eight right now and the idea was kind of doing something special just with one of them at a time so during the quarter that's something that's on my it's called a my planner that I'm kind of working on so doing one thing with each of the children uh, kind of special like my boy he likes Lego so kind of going to this Lego place here in, in Boston that we have and my daughter she likes sewing so maybe doing a sewing class and then something special with my wife so doing that uh, during the quarter is something uh, that was just kind of a reminder to do the right things as well so it's not always business a lot of times it can be the the personal personal things um, my my big takeaway during coach this time was 
I've been talking. So if, I don't know if Barry Block is listening, but uh, a while back, uh, Barry offered for me to do something called a podiatry management minute. And um, this is something that I thought would be super fun to do. Uh, but I just didn't have the bandwidth because I was too busy doing other things. And so I, I didn't do it. I was looking at the email. I think it was actually 2021, maybe December 2021. But um, the thought is I would just put up like a slide on a certain podiatry management, like an idea. And then I would just do a short little video that he would put on PM News. And so um, what I what I decided I coach this time is, is that I would reach out to him and I would say, hey, let's do this. Let's do a trial because what's the worst thing that can happen, right, is – is that the worst thing is, I guess, he would say no. I guess the other worst thing is that he would say yes, and then it would become too popular, but what a bad thing. I could stop at any time, right? Because it, it wouldn't be any exchange of, of money. It would just be more of like me being able to share ideas, and then maybe some people would join my YouTube page or, or do one of the other uh, things that I do, one of the other products. Um, the other thing at this, um, at this coach that I, I learned about and that I wanted to try is... Um, doing this coaching that I've, that I've mentioned before. I've been thinking about this for years, guys. And, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with like the imposter syndrome of thinking, oh, am I really good enough? Am I worthy enough? Do I have enough content to help people? And um, I, what, what, I've, what I've decided is I'm going to put this up on Podiatry Practice Mastery. So if you're listening to this, go there. There's, there's going to be a tab for coaching. And so one's going to be this um, Practice Mastery thing, which is basically all my content. And then the coaching will include the practice mastery, but it'll go a lot more in depth with like a, a group coaching session, a group like mentorship session where we're going to uh, talk about different things. I, I'm not exactly sure what the format. I, I've been thinking about doing a, like six sessions for uh, $10,000 or doing something monthly. Um, I, I don't believe monthly is really the right best way to go because it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time to get traction and really to take any for people to take any action. And um, I, I, I would prefer not to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I would prefer to do it in a group setting. And I would prefer also to do it uh, during the day. And I know that sounds kind of contrarian because I, I feel like everyone right now uh, within our profession is like doing all these like coaching things, nights and weekends. And, and frankly, like I don't want to take my nights away from my family and church and I don't want to take my weekends away as well so it would have to be also people that are willing to give up this time uh, during during the day and that might be a big ask you know it's, it's only for really people that want to work on their business and that are willing to do that that would willing to do that that would be willing to do that so the two formats that I thought of it I'm going to ask you uh, when you when you go there uh, and, and kind of register one is going to be either virtual so my thought with virtual would be six sessions that would be four hours each uh, so that, that would probably be like every two weeks or every month doing a four-hour session. So we'd take, let's say, a Wednesday from 8 to noon, and we would do it virtually. And then we would go over uh, a, a deep dive of like patient presentations, about marketing, about getting online reviews, about uh, any other. And I would put like a questionnaire before what exactly you guys want to learn about so I can, I can speak specifically. And having a group limited to a, a certain number of people. And the other option would be doing it in person. I would actually prefer it in person. Uh, and the thought is there is a, um, a hotel here in Worcester uh, that I like. And uh, this hotel is called the Beechwood. And then we could have it at the Beechwood. I would rent it out. We would do it just kind of like when I go down to coach, but it would be more podiatry specific. We would all meet together at the Beechwood. We'd pick a day and uh, everyone would fly into Boston. Or if you're in Boston nearby, you would come. And then we would meet that. And then we would do a series of four of those sessions as well. Or three or four sessions. I was thinking like every quarter we could do one. And then we could get together. And then we could talk specifically about like working on our practice. I know there are a couple of others uh, that do similar things. Uh, but my, my main thing here is... Um, I like the idea of the patient presentations and the marketing and, and working on people's practice. Uh, so those are the two things that I'm working on. And I'm and so as I was at coach and talking about doing this this whole um, doing this coaching or this mentorship thing, I said, oh, I just you know what happens if no one signs up? And they said, well, Don, if no one signs up, no one signs up. <laughs> you know, there's no loss. And if uh, 
if some people do sign up, then people do sign up, and in which case you're going to be better off because you've, you've tested your idea. If you don't test the idea, it's just going to kind of be in your head. So you're going to hear uh, some future episodes where we're going to be talking more about that. Um, I would like to know if, if anyone is interested uh, in doing something like this, email me, Don, at podiatrypracticemastery.com. Um, and, and you might wonder, why, why, why am I charging? The reason I'm charging, and I've learned this over time, is that if I don't charge or if I don't, me personally, if I don't pay money for things, I don't value it. I'm not going to do anything. But I find if there is if there is a fee of it, if there's a fee in doing it, I'm actually more motivated to do it. So that that's the whole reason. Uh, so that's, that's it. Okay, guys, uh, until next time, I'll tell you more about my next coach session or if uh, you have any other questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.